said that we can have camps um, uh, hunting camps and fishing camps and that we can invite our friends to stay with us so I invited all our friends to stay with us hello hi, hi. Yo. <laughs> yeah. so I welcome you to the I call it my fishing camp or hunting camp or guest camp and I want you to stay as long as you want and um, to help save our old growth. Um, there are some protocols that are ancient but not recognized or recorded in history. Um, uh, historians within churches and that um, when they first came they were studying how our social system our how we um, manage or govern our things and they um, I don't want to embarrass the chiefs but the structure was elders and the spirit men were on top and above the um, and sort of the final authority in um, the lives of people and um, they uh, when the chiefs met to discuss political things or whatever and then the uh, they would ask the elders in the um, Tradition, man. They used to, in in my mother's language, they used to call it Yohokam, which means spirit man, um, uh, spirit man, medicine man, and he was the um, also the keeper of the traditional way of doing things, and um, he uh, and he. Uh, was sort of a um, a judge, sort of, you know. He would um, consider decisions and actually in song say what things are good about that decision and then it would be accepted. And um, so, but a problem was that... Um, when especially the churches and that came along and the uh, politicians came along too and they said, I think it might be better if we just disregarded the spiritual aspect of First Nations and their um, authority of eldership. And that way um, we can be, they will be more manageable and they will. They won't have too many obstacles. They won't have to answer to the um, elders and the and the spirit people. So it was um, uh, disregarded and uh, to uh, manipulate our people. Mm -hmm. However, the um, in the normal management of uh, our people, it's like the government of BC was in public, and then they have the courts or the um, uh, judges behind the, gov the government to um, sort of keep an eye on the, the government, supposed to, you know, but um, uh, so that's the way our system had worked, and it was sort of self-balancing, you know, but then again, um, hello, um, are you guys from, uh, are you uh, all with one, uh, one party? Uh, we met them when we were at the, up, the top camp. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's the, and it's rather, um, um, 
I've never left, told too many people about this because um, Mum said we don't want to hurt the chiefs because they don't, or most, most small bands don't know about the um, uh, overriding authority that the elders had in our villages. Much like yours, you know, the elders are sort of consulted and do have a, you know, powerful say at home, you know. So that's, uh, that system has been disregarded and manipulated and patronized by mm -hmm. government and logging, now logging companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, our structure on our reserve is such that um, there is no, um, well, I wouldn't say no consultation, but we're not all told about the decisions. Mm -hmm. And um, we um, don't get informed about, like even fish day, we didn't know the fish mm -hmm. were coming mm -hmm. <laughs> until they came. Mm -hmm. you know? oh. <laughs> so so um, that's a, um, uh, but I am now myself, I have actually say that I submit to everyone and to you all that I am um, stick up for the old growth forest mm -hmm. here. Um, the upper, upper, what we call the upper Ferry Creek here, um, headwaters of the Ferry Creek, we used to call Stony Creek, was um, and is spiritual land, mm -hmm. spiritual, a spiritual place. Our um, Folks used to um, have favorite spiritual places, and the one was there that I know of for sure in my experience. Uncle Danny, you, your mum would remember him, and um, Uncle Wesley um, used it that I know of because I used to hunt up there, and they used to come out of the um, the forest of the rock, and I would hunt in the logged out area, and a couple times, Smokey, you know, and I'd hear from my hearing was good in them days, mm -hmm. and um, long came Wesley out of the out of the standing timber from into this clear cut where I was sitting, you know, just contemplating, looking over the scenery and um, meditating and he said to me uh do you come here often i said well no yeah yes and no and he said i said well i pretend to hunt you know and he said well i pretend to hunt in the forest over there and he you know would, would uh, pray and meditate in the forest and then another time uh, my uncle danny came out of there too. Actually, I didn't know he came out. I was sitting looking at the uh, ocean from up there and a big hand came over my shoulder and I heard him say, Smokey. <laughs> 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 so he told me much the same that he walked back to the through this timber to pray and meditate and pretend to hunt. And so I think that there's sections of forest that are um, used by our people. Uncle Stan used to go up to the other mountain over here that was called, um, well, it's still called Brown Creek Mountain. And um, um, Uncle Stan used to go up there and pray and meditate. And, um, I remember, I remember him uh, saying something to me about his chip up there. He says, I used to empty the rifle out and use it as a cane. And <laughs> <up> <laughs> <and out and. laughs> so uh, it was used and I now realize, looking back, 
that in as much as we they carry the guns with them, um, they would use that as an excuse to not tell everybody, mm. you know, that I'm hunting, but in fact they're on a solitary trip usually to, you know, and when you go on a solitary trip, usually it is to pray and meditate, you know, mm-hmm. and, uh, well, contemplate anyway. So that's why I am, um, we have to stick our neck out for the past and also the future. Mm-hmm. You know, all your children, your great grandchildren, you have children, do you? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, maybe soon, but never know. <laughs> I won't tell anybody. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we have to um, save some forest for them. And uh, there's lots to do with it, you know, we can, like Mears Island, they did lots of stuff there, didn't they? Yeah, and um, up in the um, Smithers area, you know, they have, uh, in Bamfield, they have the university extension. So, you know, a, a university extension for eco-studies or trails to, um, mm. you know, escort people or just have people use them, you know? mm-hmm. like Sioux Park, you know, the, you know, the West, East Sioux Park or there, and things like that. So, uh, we're, our, the BC government, um, I think is um, very, not, I would say not caring or not considering or not putting people's, the, the citizens of BC, they're, they're not regarding the um, needs of our people and how in fact our needs are growing, you know, with mm-hmm. our population. Mm-hmm. And all your grandchildren will need mm-hmm. um, forests. And I submit, you know, even to court, that we do have to preserve a lot of this, this uh, area for our children. There's a historic... Uh, um, archaeologic or ancient forest. Um, I was befriended by a forester from Utah, of all things, and he was doing papers on um, ancient uh, glacial forest. In North America or anywhere in the world where the um, Glaciers will go around with a, with a mountain sticking up, and the pl- plants there adapted to survive in that climate. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Queen Charlotte has a lot of them, and there was one just up by Sombrio, and this here, also at the top of um, Fairy Creek Mountain. And uh, they're usually yellow cedar. Yellow cedar, the forester told me some of them yellow cedar that are maybe a foot thick or so are actually about two or three thousand years old. So the logging companies are in fact hiding, you know, all of them facts and truths about our forest to not let us be aware of the varied and um, wholesome and balanced ecosystem that our great mother created for us. You know, she saw to that the forest survived in her glacial periods, you know, of 30,000 years ago, you know, and so I feel that uh, the historic um, value of it has to be respected. 
along with the super future values for our children. And also the um, memorial value of some of these stands of forest. Um, during the last plague, my grandfather told me they came from Pahoos down to Fort Renfrew. They were on their way to Victoria, but they were chased away from Renfrew here because of fear of dying again from the plague. So they went around the point there to Victoria and they got to Soul Creek. There was five canoes there floating in a circle in front of Soul Creek, Grandpa said. And he said that um, they were so happy because everybody had died and they can find somebody alive. And they got close and they realized they were all dead. So I submit to all of you that the Soul Creek is a memorial creek for all those that have died from the plague. And we do have to have places of respect for our past peoples to nurture our romantic image of ourself and entrench our values. So that's why I plead to um, the companies and the um, government and my band council to um, seriously consider saving all this and with a, a good expression of intention would be to stop logging in this area right now. Anyway, I blabbed too much that time, so I'll just leave it right there. Okay. So, so thanks for coming. <laughs>